You talk about uh, creator owned, um, and you only work in creator owned now. Why is that? Like, what has kind of pushed that that envelope for you to kind of focus on not telling other people's stories for them, but focus on telling your own stories? Uh, I think I'm better at telling my own stories. You know, like I had X Men, and I there were a lot of external pressures, but I don't I don't blame the external pressures for the way my X Men turned out entirely. I think I did not do the X Men as myself completely, and I should have. Even if it was a failure, it should have been exactly what what X-Men is to me. And I think this fan thing we were talking about earlier, I think I was going, well, this book hasn't been the book I loved since 20 years ago, and I'm going to make it that book again. Well, you can't. 20 years is gone. You know, nobody wants that book now. It's it's a different time. And, uh, and I think I just got that. And I was like, the things that I'm interested in talking to the world about via comic books are A, radically different, and B, are not suited to me shoving it into a Daredevil run, you know, even though I love that book. So I don't. I mean, the only superhero image book I did, I did Imperial, because I'd written Superman for a year. Uh, I did this with Mark Dos Santos. And I similarly, I wrote a book called It's a Bird about how much I don't get Superman and don't like Superman. Uh, and DC published that book. <laughs> who, who knew they would do that? And then I got offered Superman, and then I took it. I was like, well, now I've written about why I don't like Superman, so I must like him now. And I didn't. I still didn't get him. And I did a year on that book going, I, this is not the right fit for me. So I did Imperial with Image to go, here's what I have to say about Superman. If I, if I were not doing It's a Bird where I'm metacriticing Superman, here's what it would look like if I did Superman. And it's, you know, it's a book about a kind of dumb guy who gets picked by Superman to take over for him. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're going to be the next Imperial because I've got to move on to other things in the cosmos. But the same guy's getting married in a week. And so he's got like this Superman kind of guy teaching him how to be a superhero, but he's also learning like how to do the dance at the wedding and getting fitted for a tux and all. It's just a, a mass of things he's very uncomfortable with and which will win out. And through the course of the series, he talks the Superman guy into being a human instead of he himself becoming Superman. That's what I think of Superman. <laughs> I, think, I think Superman would rather be a human being rather than everybody would idolize and like to be Superman. Yep. Well, that's not a good story for Superman. It's true. But so. it's a story I could tell in an image comic myself and go, that's what I, that's what I have to say about that. 